set out in 2020 with an eight-year plan, and believe it or not, we're on track. Here's a look at the San Onofre nuclear generating station during the 90s, and this is what remains today. First opened back in 1968, San Onofre at its peak provided energy to one and a half million homes. It officially shut down in 2013 due to issues with its replacement steam generators. In 2020, after a lengthy environmental review, the painstaking process to dismantle the plant got underway. Give or take about 80% complete with this phase. Ron Pontes is general manager for site closure at San Onofre, which is owned by Southern California Edison. Over these past five years, he says more than a billion pounds of steel, rebar, concrete, and other debris have been hauled away. Mainly they work by breaking up the concrete into smaller and smaller chunks until it can be managed and installed in rail cars that then are covered with a, with a lid and sealed. At this point, nearly 2,500 rail car shipments of low-level radioactive waste monitored by regulators have been sent to a disposal site in Utah. And starting late next year, the iconic plant domes will also be dismantled piece by piece, not by implosion, and shipped off as well. You know, by the end of 27, the dome should be gone. What will remain for the undetermined future, roughly three and a half million pounds of spent nuclear waste that remains safely sealed up on site.